teacher and I love to teach English because I want others to learn easily but it was very difficult for me to learn. Today we're going to talk about numbers. Numbers are usually divided into different groups but today we're going to focus on natural numbers. Natural numbers are divided into big groups which are cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. Cardinal numbers are the ones that are most common for us and we use them to count or to do mathematical operations. Personally, I like to divide numbers into three big groups. Baby numbers or kid numbers, teen numbers and other numbers. Baby numbers, I call them like that because the same way as the kids, they are all different. If you see a kindergarten, all of the kids look different. The same as numbers. Some of them are short, some of them are long, etc. Now, teen numbers. Teen, teenagers, they feel like they need to uh, belong to a group. They need to feel identified with something and they usually follow patterns. The same numbers, they all follow the pattern team. So as you can see, all of the numbers are going to be identified because of the same ending. Now, all the numbers are called like that because at this age is when usually people reach their majority of age and they start creating family and having kids. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 and on could be considered the other numbers and as they progress they start having little kids. 20 and their kids, 20 and their two kids, 3, 20 and their three kids. And basically creating numbers it's a process of recycling what you have previously learned. Once you've learned baby numbers well, you just have to recycle them to create team numbers. Baby numbers plus the ending team. And then other numbers, you recycle the baby numbers and you add the ending T1.